Hello, everybody. Today is February 7th, 2021, Super Bowl Sunday. Got a good game going on tonight. Bucks versus Chiefs. Who knows what will happen? I'm rooting for just a really close game, maybe coming down to the last play of the game, something like that. So we'll see what happens. But I wanted to take a little while to review the book Beach Music, an oldie but goodie. And this book is by Pat Conroy. And the version that I'm reviewing is narrated by Frank Muller. I checked this one out from my local library. The version on Audible has Jonathan Moreau, so a different version, which I also own. So I'll tell you a little bit about both of these versions of the book in, in, in just a little bit. But this is a very good book. Uh, definitely recommend it. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. But Jack McCall is the main character. And the story follows him. He lives in Italy with his young daughter at the beginning of the book. And you come to find out that his wife committed suicide a number of years ago. And he leaves South Carolina after you know, on really bad terms with her family and doesn't get along too well with his family. And so he wants to try to just escape his past, just avoid it, not even talk to anybody from his past, pretty much live just a new existence in Italy with his daughter, but uh, he gets a telegram one day from South Carolina, where he's from, um, in the small town of Waterford. And he finds out that his mom is seriously ill and she's in the hospital. And he makes the decision to go back to South Carolina. So the majority of this book takes place in South Carolina. And he goes back to South Carolina and he starts running into all his, his family, his wife's family, his brothers. He has four brothers with just uh, pretty wild personalities, all pretty different. But um, he runs into them. He gets to see them. He gets reacquainted with his brothers and his family. But a lot of this story is kind of an unfolding. It starts off a little slow and then just kind of builds but you get to learn. He, he starts to discover a lot of things start to make sense to him, I guess I should say, um, after he uh, learns more history of the past of his family and his wife's family. So a lot of the story is based on just kind of an unfolding uh, of those events. But it's a really good listen. Now, it takes place in a fictitious town of Waterford but I believe it was pretty heavily influenced by Buford, South Carolina, where Conroy lived uh, many years. And if you never uh, checked out Conroy before, I would definitely recommend checking him out. He is a very good writer. It's very descriptive writer, just beautiful prose, all these descriptions of South Carolina landscape and natural beauty and food um, in the book. So that aspect of the book is just really engaging to me. But um, Conroy also has kind of a love, you guess you could say love, hate. I don't think it's hate necessarily, but he loves the South. He embraces the South, but there's some things that irk him about the South. I'll say it that way. And some of those things have to do with just Southern culture. So that comes out in the book. There's just a lot of different themes in this book, but it is a very engaging listen. And I'll comment on the narrators. So Frank Muller is the narrator that I listened to. And this guy is amazing. He does a phenomenal job in this book. I guess I can skip down to uh, my rating. So I'm giving this book four and a half stars overall, um, the story four and a half stars and the narration five stars. There's a lot of different uh, character voices in this book. As you can see from the family tree on this page, there is quite a few different characters in this book. And Frank Muller does an amazing job with all these characters. Um, he has all the brothers and older people in the family, but just amazing job. The other version on Audible is by Jonathan Morose. And I listened to about five hours of this version. And I have to say that I was not as engaged with his narration. Now, he narrates a number of books. So don't want to, you know, he might do a great job on some of these other books. But as far as this narration goes, I was not as um, impressed with just the different character voices. It just didn't pull me in. And so, comment below if you have a different opinion. Um, you know, I've certainly had narrators before where I didn't really 
like them too much at first and then somehow they pull you in and then sometimes somehow you see the ingenious of what they're really doing with the narration so that certainly can happen but for now my recommendation would be to get the frank miller version his version was phenomenal with all the different character voices the only criticism of the book which is not really a criticism is that it's kind of slow to develop it bursts uh, speed um once it gets farther into the book so i'll say that about the book and that some people might not be um in love with just the digressions that conroy takes sometimes but that's just his style of writing i think they said that the draft of this book was actually even twice as long as the um, final copy so he can just write and he just likes to go digress um but uh it that that style of writing certainly appeals to me it's it's also just a beautiful writing i mean it's really amazing i have a, a high appreciation for his writing and um, like I said, he gets into deeper themes of the South and just all the things. It's an ode to the South. He loves the South, but there's certain things that irk him about the South. So it certainly gets into that. But there's other themes in the book. There's even post Vietnam War politics kind of go into the book. There's a theme of um, friendships um, in the book and how people kind of grow apart as they get older. But there's certain things that maybe bond them in, in youth, even if you have different views as you get older. But you're probably going to like this book if you like descriptive prose and a slow building story, if you can handle that. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but there is um, kind of a sarcastic humor and one liners throughout the book. But there's literally some laugh out loud moments, at least for me in this book. And, and Conroy has a good sense of humor. So he has a lot of dynamics to this book because um and at some moments it's sad it's a tragedy and other moments it's funny so th this book certainly has a lot of different levels yes his descriptions at times are kind of sugary south carolina beauty and food and those kind of things but if that appeals to you you're definitely going to like this book i'm definitely if you like just really descriptive writing you, you know i definitely would recommend conroy there is i mentioned this but there's some pretty brutal scenes in this book. So if you don't like brutality, you this might not be the book for you, but it really goes um, pretty hardcore, br brutal scenes um, in this book. And I won't say any more than that, but it's part of discovering um, some of the characters past in this book. And um, if you're interested in Southern culture, you're gonna love this book. It definitely um, is an ode to the South. If you don't mind a complex story with full of many characters, you know, that might turn off some people. There's a lot of characters. I actually, uh, there was times where I went back and re-listened to little parts of the book just to really get the story and the characters in my mind. So with an audio book, sometimes you have to do that. But uh, it certainly helped after I did that in the beginning. Um, I got into, I understood the relationship of all the characters and it made sense to me. And uh, as I've mentioned, the book explores some different themes. One of the themes I didn't talk about as much was it does explore mental illness in the book. So that's another theme that it explores. But this is a great listen, so I highly recommend it. And if you haven't listened to Conroy's book, books, there's, you know, I could recommend quite a few of them. I've read most of them. I've listened to a number of them, the ones that are available um, in audio format. I think I've listened to almost all of them except for one or two. But this is up there. This is a very good book. So I highly recommend it.